What's up, YouTube? This is Black Bigot coming to you live from a location unknown somewhere in the great state of West Virginia. Uh, really quick, I wanted to show you this really cool sign. <laughs> Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Anyways, so I know a lot of my videos are not really related to living in a van or van dwelling, whatever you want to call it, but I am a, uh, what you call a van dweller. I uh, live in my van, whatever, what have you. Um, I really don't talk about it too much because it's not a really interesting thing that I do, in my opinion anyways. Um, but really quick, I wanted to share something, a little trick that I do when I get into uh, a, a little situation with uh, food. Uh, I don't have a refrigerator in my van because it's really, really small. And sometimes I like to, uh, you know, I like to buy a steak every once in a while. I'm not a big meat eater. Um, but I am a big beer drinker. <laughs> So anyways, um, so what I like to do is um, when I buy meat, I like to, you know, just start up my generator and, you know, make it on the foreman or I'll just go to a park and just kind of barbecue it right there. But sometimes you buy, you know, too much and you don't know how to keep it and you're like, oh shit, this meat's going to go bad. So you just end up throwing it away or just, you know, cooking it up and just throwing it in the woods for animals to eat. So I want to show you really quick a, a cool trick. When you don't have a refrigerator in your van, you want to keep your meat good for at least a day or two. So what I like to do is I like to borrow uh, other businesses' refrigeration or their freezers. So what I'll do is I'll go into a store. For instance, we're going to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is a really good place to do this because they don't really stock their shelves very often. You don't want to go to a supermarket and do this. So what I'll do is like whatever steak I have that I bought too much of and I need a place to hold it for a couple days, I'll go into the uh, Dollar Tree and I'll go to the freezer section and I'll kind of bury it uh, underneath the whatever stuff that they're selling in there. So with that being said, I was here about four hours ago and uh, I had a some piece of crap steak. Uh, I gave it to this guy to cook up for me last night and uh, he ended up not doing it because it, it got really, really busy at work so they didn't have time to make it. So I had to uh, come in here and borrow, borrow their freezer. Um, so Dollar Tree is good for that other than uh, Dollar Hygiene products. By the way, uh, if there's any ladies out there, if you buy your hygiene products from the uh, Dollar Tree, uh, you should, uh, you should consider not doing that. That's really tacky. Because if I go to your house and I see like Dollar Tree shit, I'm out of there. I'm out of there. All right, so with that being said, let's see. So uh, there it is. I put it here about four hours ago. And it is still here. See? Bam. Got my steaks. I know it's really, really tacky and it's really, really cheap uh, of me. And I know some of you uh, gaff goods out there would consider what I just did uh, stealing because I stole their freezer. But uh, you know what? It's a good little trick for when you're either homeless or you live in your van or your van dweller. Just uh, use other people's uh, refrigeration or their freezers. So anyways, this is Black Bigot. Please subscribe and uh, I'll catch up with you next time. Peace out.